This is a Permobil M3 power chair, top of the line in power chair. This chair has five electric functions. It's fully loaded, and this chair has only one mile, so maybe two miles by the time you get it. But it has one mile on the meter, so this chair was delivered and never used. Uh, so it has five electric functions. The first one it has is got the, it has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, and it also has what's called the interior tilt, which leans you forward a little bit. So we'll cover the five functions. You can work all the five functions through the joystick or through the switch box back here. I always use the switch box. So the first button would be the seat lift. So if I push this down, you're going to have what's called your 12 inch seat lift. You're going to start about a 22. By the time you're up 12 inches, you'll be at 34, 34 inches. You'll be eye level just about with someone talking. This is called the 12 inch seat lift. And you can drive this chair with the seat elevated, but it'll be a reduced speed. So with the seat elevated, you'll be able to drive it. You can see it still, well, still drives pretty fast, but it'll be a reduced speed. So you can still move around. So the seat is elevated, we can see the armature here for the seat lift, how solid this is built, and then your actuator is actually right here below the cover. Uh, the chair has 14 inch wheels, they're non-skid wheels. You got caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back. These right here are the motors. There's one here, and there's one over there. So if I want to push this chair right now, I could not push this chair because it's in gear. If the seat was down and the power was off, on top of each motor, on the M3s, your motors are facing forward. There's a lever. If I push the lever inward, like I just did, it, it unlocks this wheel right here. You would do both motors. Push it back this way, and you're back in gear. Then you can turn your power back on. You've got an anchor point here to, hold, to hook up your chair, and you've got another one inside of here where your suspension is. These chairs have fantastic suspension. Great riding chair. This is the top of the line in power chair. Permobil is synonymous with quality. These are Swedish, Swedish made power chair. So that's your 12 inch seat lift right there. I'm going to bring back down. You've also got what's called a swing away joystick. It swings from the front to the side if you need to get to a table. If you're left handed, we can switch everything to the left side, no problem at all. That's called a swing away joystick right there. Okay? The next function we're going to do is called the electric tilt. So the electric tilt is when the bottom right here goes back. So if this portion goes back, it's going to take the legs and the back with the chair. That's called the electric tilt. A lot of people like this if they want to take pressure off their butt or if they need circulation. The next option is the electric legs. So if you want your legs higher than your body, you can elevate these legs. Now with these M3s, if you're going to elevate the legs, you have to do it before the seat is tilted. So if I bring the seat back down like this, okay, it's just the way this, these M3s are set up. So if I bring the seat back down like this, and then I bring the legs up, and these legs are adjustable. So if, you have, if you're five feet tall or six foot three, we can adjust the length of these legs. They're actually pretty long right now in this chair right now, the way they are there. So those are the electric legs right there. So once you have those up, then you can do the, what's called the electric tilt right here and have your legs straight out higher. So you could, you could tilt it halfway up like this and still have your legs higher than your body. And we're we'll bring the tilt back down. And the next thing I want to show you, I'm going to put the legs back up again, and we're going to do the, what's called the electric recline. So the electric recline is just the back right here going back by itself. That's called the electric recline. So if you're laying down in your chair at the end of the day, let's see how far back this one goes. So this is the electric recline. You're pretty much flat. Yes, you are. So this is what it would look like if you were in your chair all the way down. You'd be just about flat. That's called the electric recline. I'm going to bring the legs and the recline back down and up. 
Then we're going to cover what's called the last feature is going to be called the electric, uh, the, it's called the anterior tilt, which it leans you forward. So I'm bringing the legs. So when you're outside, always leave your legs out roughly about that much right there so that uh, you don't hit anything under the, on the sidewalk and damage your electric legs. So now we've got the seat back to where it should be. All right, so earlier I mentioned to you about the electric tilt, which is this going back like it's doing right now, okay? I'm going to bring it back down, okay? So that's the electric tilt. But now if I hit the button forward, watch. Now we've got the interior tilt. See this? So now we've got like a 15, 20% tilt down. So it helps you get out. That's called the interior tilt. That's the most you'll get out of it, but it's, at least it, it'll, be, it'll help. Now we're back to flat. Okay, bring your legs back in. Now this is a mid-wheel drive chair, so it'll turn around its own length. So whatever the length of the chair is, that's what it takes to go in a circle. Okay? The back of the chair, you've got your headrest, fully adjustable. You've got all the adjustments here, and it can also be removed if you don't want it on there. You've got cylinders here and here. This is to adjust the tilt of the arms right here. If you want the arm higher, you would turn these cylinders, this one for this side and this one for the left side. There's a power button here. This is where we turn the power off when we shift these chairs. We would turn the power off just by turning, well, there you go. Power is off. Power is back on. Then I would have to turn the power back on the joystick. Okay? Now the seat, the seat on this chair is 21 inches wide by 20 deep. 21 wide, so it's a large seat. 21 by 20 deep. These arms do flip up. And this is a mesh back right here with some lumbar support in here that can be removed. You can go right behind here and remove this lumbar. They're just foam. They're added to the back of the seat. Okay? You have a safety belt. This is a mesh back, so you will not sweat in this back right here. It's a custom mesh back. It's a large back. It looks like it's at least 18, 19 inches wide, maybe 20. When you charge the batteries in this chair, you would take your Permobil charger, plug it right below your joystick right here, and as soon as the light goes to full on your Permobil charger, you're fully charged, and the charger will stop charging automatically. So let's recap this chair. You've also got your toolkit, your owner's manual that comes with the chairs right here. So, chair is a Permobil M3, six and a half miles an hour this chair goes, it's a really fast chair. But it also has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, and the interior tilt, five electric functions, okay? So, it also has the 21 by 20 seat, swing away joystick, solid tires, one mile, so the chair is practically new, top of the line, power chair, ready to go. This is the M3 power chair, fully loaded, great suspension, 6.3, 6.4 miles an hour, top speed that I saw in the uh, register here, very, this is the top of the line chair, went to the grass with no problem, fantastic chair, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video, if you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.